Hi guys and welcome back to Harry Makes Up. Today I'm very lucky to have the amazing Laura Doggett here in my studio with me. We're going to create the look we did for her new EP which is Into the Glass. So we're going to show you how to create the look using all cruelty free products and brushes. Hope you guys enjoy the look. I like to mix on Laura are the two by Lizelle. So I take a bit of sheer skin tint and then I take a bit of the Lizelle, um, this is their signature foundation, which has a slightly more coverage. And I actually find the two mixed together make really beautiful skin. Has there been any brands you've kind of discovered, Laura, as you've been working as a singer now that are cruelty free that has definitely like stayed with I have, you? Yeah, I've been surprised because when I started out, I thought it was really it was kind of a real big push to ask people to get cruelty free products mm. but it's actually loads of them yeah. and I really, I used to go into Superdrug and always get their Be Beautiful range which it's really was really good, yeah, yeah it's, it's really, really good. good and we yeah. use some of it Yeah. and I was just really shocked to see a high street store just kind of really st standing up for animals Where did you come from for this? Is it something oh, that's kind of... I grew up vegetarian yeah. and then just Sometimes threw up I don't know, just throughout realising and choosing if I wanted to be vegetarian when I had the choice. Yeah. And then just realising that animals can't speak for themselves and I've always had pets and just grown up around animals. <laughs> what pets have you had? Have you had We've any? had, oh, um, well, we always used to rescue animals, so if there was oh, wow. animals on the road, so like, see, we've had baby seagulls and little blackbirds. And so when you're on tour, Laura, what's your kind of, um, how do you look after your skin? Have you got kind of a little routine down now that mm. works for you? I usually use some of the products you give me if, yeah. I'm, if I'm lucky enough. At the moment, I'm using a lot of lizard oil, so I use the yeah, hot... Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I yeah. use... I think it's called the hot cleanser. Yes. And it comes with a mus muslin. Yeah, one. that's lovely. Anastasia um, Beverly Hills is cruelty-free, which I'm so pleased about because I think their products, they've really kind of expanded now on the different products they're doing. Um, and the brow is, I think it's just one of those makeup artists must have. So I use the tiniest amount of... Literally in. just a couple of hairs... And I'm using it really, really lightly. I'm using a very light hand. So I'm now going to use a bit of Trish McAvoy, and this is the eyeshadows in Cafe Latte. And I think this one might be aubergine, but I'll pop it in the description box as always. Um, I'm going to take a Zoeva, I think this is their Soft Definer Vegan Brush. Love their vegan brush range. It's so, so good. And again, with Laura's lovely big brows, it just really kind of offsets the eye nicely. How would you sum up your music, Laura, if you had to... I guess the word moody would have to be in there. Yeah. I think I just, I think I'm just trying to write about, sub, I'm, oh, the subjects that interest me are, are normal subjects. I like to write about different things. That yeah. Are like animal rights and human rights and it's like Women's Day. But that's the nice thing about an artist, isn't it? Being an artist yeah, is that you can, you, can you know, use your music to kind of say what you want to say. Exactly. And that's definitely what I'm trying to do. But not in a weird way, I just like to make observations yeah. and just talk about things. And in all honesty, like I'm in a long term relationship and love doesn't interest me that much to write about. So it's more about big, the bigger kind of love, like non possessional love and yeah. things like that, if I was to write a love song. And just using that darker shadow, if you close your eyes, me, Laura, I'm just going to smudge that into the lash line. So I just lift Laura's lid a little bit up and I'm just wiping that into the lash line. I'm going to take a bit of the OCC, this is the Obsessive Compulsive, and this one is completely vegan as well. Um, I'm going to use their black hole pencil, and this is very, very pigmented, so I find you can really smudge this into the lashes, you can use it in the waterlines as well. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I just put this through Laura's bottom waterline, and then what I do as well is I just take it, so I kind of pull it a little bit lower down on the lashes, so that it comes just over the top of the waterline, and I'm just smudging that in. And I'm going to take the same pencil and I'm going to run that across the top of the eye as well. So if you close me, Laura. So I'm going to do a little bit of that onto the top line of the lashes and just lift the lid as you do it. Just go back in with that little brush and just buff that in again to those eyeshadows. This is the Gosh Waterproof Mascara and it's quite nice. It's got those kind of plasticky combs. Um, what I do like to do though first is take a little bit off on a tissue if I'm kind of going under the eye. I like when it looks a little bit lived in. I think that's what we definitely try to create with your look as well, isn't it, Laura? It's not too perfect. It's got that nice casualness, effortless to it, which I think is a really nice feature in makeup. Kind of comes with my influences of 
style wise and love PJ yeah. Harvey and like that. especially like her hair and stuff she's just mm. got that effortless like she woke up amazing looking gorgeous so the next thing I do on Laura which I kind of is almost like a focal point we use the eye isn't it is like a really intense highlight on the inner part of the eye and it gives a really wet look just like we had in the shoot and then I take another clean brush and I just kind of buff the edges out a little bit but I almost like the chunkiness of it again I think it keeps it looking like it's not too perfect not too contrived and this has been a look from the beginning, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really has been something that we kind of go back to and we sort of, I think we change it and move around with it, but I feel like it gives like a little hit of light to the face as well. So concealer, one of the brands that I've been loving using on Laura is Hourglass. I think it is the more luxury under the market if you're looking for cruelty free, but it is beautiful. And the concealer I'm using, this is in the shade Fair, which I really like on Laura. I really like how cruelty free is being taken into the luxury market. Yeah, I think the thing is I found as a makeup artist it's been an important thing to have in my kit. Because oh. I think there's definitely a demand for it. Hey. <laughs> so with your Into the Glass um, song that we did as well for the EP, Laura, what other songs are on the EP? Are you allowed to tell us? Oh, <laughs> I can. I think I can. <laughs> um, my The main song is Into the Glass, which will hopefully be the next single. And yeah. I'm really excited for it because... Previously we've had Phoenix and Moonshine, which have been slow kind of electronic tracks. Mm. And then Old Faces with Broadchurch, which was a ballad. Yeah. Um, and Into the Glass is really upbeat and it's angry and it's emotive. And it's <laughs> kind of weird that we have so many different sounding tracks, but it kind of shows that... That, that must be really nice as an artist, though, to be able to is. show your versatility as well. It's, it's fun. I mean, it's yeah. just kind of each track it is it's kind of so expressive in itself. Yeah. And um, the other tracks on it is a song called Eskimo. Cool. Which is really strange. And <laughs> I like recorded, the, it's one of the only ones where I sat and like recorded the piano and sang. Um, and then it's just weird. And it's kind of inspired by my favorite film, which is The Beach. And it's oh like, yeah, I love that film. It's, it's amazing. so good, yeah. And my it's a favorite book as well. And how paradise is kind of who you're with and not yeah. where you go. So it's kind of about how someone, how you can't <coughs> feel all of your emotions if someone goes and you're left feeling numb. Um, there's a song called Beautiful Undone, which was inspired by the Starlings in Brighton and their murmurations. <laughs> and and that, that is actually a relationship song, but it's yeah. more supportive. Yeah. And, um, and then Night Girl, which is a duet with a girl called Alice Jemima, and she's awesome and she's coming on tour with me. Oh, amazing. When um, does your tour start, Laura? It's March 18th. It starts, and we're just doing three dates in the southwest. <clears throat> use a really tiny amount of this, and I just use it kind of through the under eye area, just to add a little bit more brightness. I love these brushes. Yeah, this, and these are so affordable. I think this is like six ninety nine or something, and it's what? better than some of the expensive concealer brushes I've got. It's literally one of my favourites, and you can use it for anything. You can use it for powder, blending eyeshadow. I don't really do any lip liner on Laura. I just kind of use it from the bullets. If you close your lips, me Laura, and I just kind of roll it over first, and I use my finger a little bit as well, just to kind of pat it in, because I don't like it to look too perfect or too dark. And it suits most people I use it on, actually. I find it is one of those ones that definitely suits a lot of people. So I'm going to take one of the Real Techniques brushes. Um, this is one of their blush brushes, and I just take a little bit of powder, and we take that kind of down the forehead, a little bit down the nose. So blush, I'm going to use a Lizelle product, and this is called Camellia, this colour. I think I've pronounced that right. So for that, I'm going to take a bit of one of the bold metal brushes by Real Techniques. Have you seen these, Laura? They these are, are Real awesome. Techniques fancy new brushes. Aren't they cool? And look, they've got all like metal oh handles, so they're, they're like fancy synthetic Ooh. brushes. So I'm going to use the blush brush of this. I love that. That's really, cool. really nice. And again, what I find with this is you get quite precise placement, so I just take a bit of off on the excess from the back of my hand. Just so there's nice. a little bit of colour. It's a really nice colour. It's lovely, isn't it? Take a little bit into the temples and just a little bit across the middle of the nose, just so it's kind of all warm together. And so that is the finished look, guys. That is the look we created for Laura for her Into the Glass EP. And it's also a look that we do quite a bit, don't we, together, Laura? Um, really, really fun having Laura here. Oh, <laughs> it's been so lovely. It's been so much fun. And I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I will make sure I link all Laura's um, info in the description bar as well. Definitely go check out her amazing music. And I look forward to seeing you soon for more videos, guys. <laughs> Please subscribe and like, and I'll see you soon. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.